Hello, today you are going to see Abbey FlexiCapture with an integration to Sage 50. This will take away the need of data entry and with just a few clicks we'll have your invoices directly entered into your Sage accounting system. So what I'm going to show you are these three invoices. Now I'm going to open them up very quickly just so you can see the generic layout of them. Now uh, invoices are very generic. There is no standard with invoices and therefore every vendor uh, is at the luxury of creating their own design which can make invoice processing very difficult. Uh, but thankfully our software has the solution for you. The thing I'm going to show you and I just want you to notice about these invoices is that they all look different just like the invoices you're receiving today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drop these into our um, software and we're going to give the system just a minute to process them. What it's doing right now is it's recognizing the invoices. It's looking at all of the vendors in our Sage accounting system. And what it will do is it will try to find the, who's the vendor and what are the line items for this. And now that they're done, we'll check them out. We'll go one by one here. We notice here that this is an invoice uh, versus a credit note or a credit memo, for example. We see that we find the business unit, the vendor from Sage. And this is synced to Sage on a periodic basis, and therefore it keeps us up to date with any new vendors or, or even old vendors that drop off our list. Uh, we were able to find our invoice data, such as invoice numbers, dates, uh, remit tos if, if requested. Uh, we have our totals here, and of course our currency, which can be very important when we're talking about international standards. And most importantly, we have our line items. So we're able to determine not only descriptions, but quantities, unit prices, net prices, taxes if requested, um, those kind of things. And we see here that this was all done without me needing to train the system. So if you're familiar with OCR um, software at all, in the past it was all about templates but today it has nothing to do with templates it's very trainable uh, if for some reason something was not found so but in this invoice for example this was done just perfectly we'll look at a couple of these other ones here uh, this one uh, is very similar to what you just saw we found the business unit of course we found this vendor from our sage system and the invoice number the invoice date uh, totals and then we have our line item detail down here so for example um, if we wanted to train this one, we noticed that the software did not pick up the proper quantity here. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in what the quantity is. And we're going to hit the train button. What that will do is it will remember it. And the next time we process this invoice for that vendor, it will remember uh, where that quantity was found. And our next one here, just very similar to what you just saw. We have our business unit, of course, our vendor our invoice information here which by the way if we look at the actual invoice is in black text so there's no problem with reading information uh, that is what we consider inverted meaning black versus white um, and here there's just no problem figuring out uh, the invoice number and invoice date we have our amounts and we have our descriptions as well with our line item details so all of these invoices are now completed and verified, which is this process of just making sure that the software captured all of these details. And what we can do now is highlight them all and export them. When we export them, they will go directly into Sage. We see Sage opening now, and they're going to be imported into Sage. And we'll have bills uh, that are directly related to those invoices that we just processed. So the invoices are going right now. Right, that the software is now done exporting. What we can do here now is show you those bills that are ready and processed in your system, in your Sage system, if we just view all of our purchases here. You remember there were three invoices that we processed, and thankfully we have three invoices right in our Sage 50 system. Uh, of course, with all of the line item details also that we captured off of those invoices. So. Uh, we also captured things like your invoice number, your invoice total, your invoice dates. Um, if there were due dates on the documents, we would have caught that and captured that as well. So these are just a few of the invoices. We can take a peek at these other ones here. And really what we're highlighting to you is how quick that was. There was no practically no keyboard um, touch there. It was all done with a few clicks. We were able to process invoices very quickly with line items into Sage 50. And we can do that for you today as well. So if you have any questions or if you'd like to see a demo or like to learn about how you can use this in your business today, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.